Hello, good afternoon, students. Good afternoon. How are you? You having your lunch already? Yes. Yes. All of you are late today. I thought you guys are sleeping. <laughs> okay. Okay, students. So please keep your camera open. All right. Open up your camera, all of you. And today we are going to review the whole unit. Unit number four, we already finished. And today we are going to review. Okay, review from the start, from the beginning. <coughs> so you're having your books already with you, students? Books of health. Health and physical. All right, so let's start. Okay, so today we are going to review from page number 54. From page number 54 until 63. All right, so unit number four is uh, about sexual behavior. So we already learned about sexual behavior, appropriate behavior. We are going to review again today. So first, uh, appropriate sexual behaviors according to Thai culture, like what are the uh, appropriate behavior according to the culture of Thailand. So six differences in human in human philosophy we are distinction in uh, six differences in human psycho uh, psychology right are differences according to the physiological characteristic associated with either males or female. So the differences of uh, human sex is actually uh, physiology. It's all distinction. Distinction that mean like difference. They are always having difference of physiological characteristics according to uh, associated with both male and female. There is no doubt that our evolutionary history results in important difference between the sexes. So there is uh, actually the difference between uh, the sexes of both male and female and uh, according to the history, right? So behaving appropriately to, uh, according to Thai culture will result harmonious society. So if all of us, we adopt uh, appropriate behavior that uh, we behave in appropriate way as per the culture of Thailand. So it will result harmonious society, a better society. So here we having some of the appropriate behaviors, uh, characteristics, both for male and female. So some of them, some of them are here. So first of all, appropriate, be, appropriate Thai male behavior, like how Thai male, men in Thailand, Thai male, how should behave appropriate? So these are some of the five characteristics, like uh, number one, be strong, protect the weaker. So Thai male had to be strong, always had to be strong and always be helpful towards weaker, right? Number two, be a good leader, learn to sacrifice and take responsibility. So Thai men have to behave like a good leader to lead from the front, okay? And also have to learn how to sacrifice, sacrifice for other, right? And take responsibility, be responsible as well. Number three, be a gentleman. 
show honor and respect to females. So male always have to show respect to uh, everybody, especially have to uh, be respectful towards females, toward ladies, they have to be more respectfully and be a gentleman, right? Number four, a good model do not drink alcohol or smoke. So good behavior for Thai male, actually he had to avoid alcohol, not supposed to drink alcohol because alcohol is harmful for health and also for the society. And also uh, avoid smoking, should not smoke, okay? So these are number five, do not take advantage of females. So you always have to uh, behave like a gentleman, right? You're not supposed to take advantage, any kind of advantage of ladies. So these are the five main characteristics. Male, he always had to be strong and protect the weaker and be a good leader, learn to sacrifice and take responsibility. Number three is be a gentleman, show honor and respect females. Number four, be a good model, do not drink alcohol and smoke. And number five is do not take advantage of females. And here you can see in the picture, males should dress up properly and neatly. You always have to dress up properly according to the Thai culture and neatly always had to be clean. So these are the five appropriate behave, behave, behaviors for Thai male, all right? Now these are some of the appropriate behavior for Thai female, how Thai females, how Thai girls should behave properly, appropriately, okay? So number one is, behave like a good lady always be a good lady right you have to behave in a good manner number two speak politely so speak politely all the time while you're having conversation with any person any uh, any sort of person so you always have to talk politely show honor and respect to other people number three reserve yourself protect yourself against sexual temptation. So you uh, ladies, females, actually they always have to be reserved, reserve yourself, not to be too much open, not to be like uh, always ready for everything. You always have to be reserved and protect yourself against sexual temperature. So if you are going to be reserved, so you can protect yourself from sexual temptation. Temptation that mean like a sexual des desire, right? Number four, have a sense of dignity. Do not have sex when you are not ready. So Thai female always have to be, have dignity and respect for yourself. Always have to be a sense of dignity and not supposed to have sex when you are not ready. Number five, learn to share and be generous to others. So uh, Thai females have to behave like they always have to learn to share, to share and be generous to other, always have to share and you have to be kind toward others as well. Number six is dress up appropriately and neatly. So both for male and female, it's very important that all the time, uh, ladies, females, they have to dress appropriately according to the Thai culture and neatly. Always have to uh, wear dress, you know, like a clean and neatly. So these are some of the six uh, important appropriate behavior for females, all right? I repeat one more time. First one is behave like a good lady. Number two, speak politely. And number three is reserve yourself and protect yourself against sexual temptation. 
Number four, have sense of dignity. Always have to have dignity towards yourself. And do not have sex when you are not ready. Number five, learn to share and be generous to others. Always have to be generous, kind toward other and share with other people as well. And number six is dress up appropriately and neatly. Always have to wear uh, costumes appropriately, as you can see here in the picture, right? As you can see here, this is how uh, the female have to wear uh, clothes appropriately, okay? And always have to wear clean and neatly. So these are some of the important behaviors, both for male and for female. Okay, now, another is social etiquette, right? So social etiquette, it means like a social good behavior, all right? So beside the appropriate sexual behavior, according to Thai, According to Thai culture, according to Thai culture, social etiquette should be learned and know in order to live in harmony in the society. So that's also very important that uh, uh, you having understanding about appropriate social behavior as well, sexual behavior as well. According to Thai culture, similar like that, like a social behavior, social good behavior, it's also very important to live in a society according to Thai culture. So these are some of the manners, manners in speech and expressions, which can help uh, to, towards the harmony in the society, okay? So number first is manners in speech and expression. So manner, speech and expression, like how you talk, how the way you talk and the way you express. So the manners of uh, expression and speech, these are some of the important manners. So like uh, first one, give a respectful why and say thank you when receiving in an object or help from older relatives, friends and acquaintances. So, Anytime when you receive something from any elder people, somebody he's elder than you, he or she is elder than you, older people, either they are relative, either they are friend, either they are acquaintances. Acquaintances that mean you know the people, some of people you know them, but not really well, but you know them. So those people are acquaintances. So all these type of people, elder people, when you receive something from them, either you receive any object any anything they give you or either you receive any kind of help if somebody help you so you always have to say thank you right you always have to say thank you and why okay this is uh giving respect to the elders all right number two always why when greeting people and show respect by saying sawadi ka or sawadi ka okay like for example if you meet somebody if somebody if you, if you meet any person right so you always have to greet greet that mean like you welcoming right so what you have to do you have to why as you can see here in the picture right similar like that you have to why and show respect towards them, you always have to respect and, and by saying sawadi ka. So this is, uh, these are the good manners, good manners and speech and expression as well. So number three, the most important is always apologize when you have done something wrong. So as we are all human, sometimes we can do something wrong. Okay, so if you do something wrong to any person, either towards your friend, either towards elder or parents or any person, right? So what you have to do, you always have to apologize. So apologize, apologize means you always have to say sorry, 
like sorry i do something wrong so you have to accept the things you do wrong and sorry to them apologize okay so here as you can see in the picture this is how you have to say thank you right give a respectful why and say thank you when you receive an object or help from elders, the word sawaddi can be used as a greeting or farewell. So if you receive anything, any if your parents or any, any other elders, they give you something, right? And when you receive that, so you always have to, why? And you have to say, thank you, okay? Other than that, Normally, the word sawadi, where we use sawadi, can be used for greeting or fail, uh, farewell, any sort of welcoming, greeting, or farewell. So, these are some of the important uh, manners, right, uh, which you can adopt. It can help you. All right. I repeat for you one more time here. First one, what you have to do, give a respectful why and say thank you. When you receive, when receiving an object or help from older relatives, friends, or acquaintances. Number two is always why when greeting people and show respect by saying sawaddi ka or sawaddi ka. Okay. And the third one is always apologize when you have done something wrong when you do something wrong so accept your uh accept your wrong what whatever you did right and apologize for that say sorry for that okay students so these are the most important manners in speech and expressions okay now some of the manners of Manners in school, you always have to have a good manners in school while you are in the school. So you should to have good manners as well. So number one is respect and follow classrooms. You always have to show respect uh, and you have to follow the rules of the classroom. Okay. Number two is do not disturb class by making noises or taking or talking to one another, all right? So while you are in the class, you're not supposed to make disturbance, okay? You're not supposed to make disturb your friends, your other uh, classmates, and not make any sort of noise, or either talking with each other, okay? And number three is, do not distract other classmates. So if your other classmates, they are busy with their work, right? with the studies, so don't distract them, okay? Don't interrupt them and don't disturb them. Other than that, whenever you're having any kind of question, you are supposed to ask from a teacher. So what you have to do, you have to raise a hand when you want to, when you want to ask a question. Whenever you're having any type of question you would like to know, so always raise your hand, raise your hand, and then wait for your turn, the teacher will call you. Okay, students, so these are some of the important manners uh, in school. I repeat one more time, respect and follow class ru classroom rules. Number two, do not disturb class by making noises or talking to one another. And number three is, do not distract other classmates and also raise a hand when one wants to answer a question. Okay, students, you understand that? What are the manners of in school? All right, so now here we having some of the manners in playing sports. Okay, so while we are playing sports, uh, either in the school or either with the friends, so we always have to have manner in playing sports as well. Okay, so these are the following manners, uh, which are very important for the sports while you're playing sports. So number one is obey the sports, obey the sport rule and agreements. Like every kind of sport, they're having special rules, okay? 
and they're having special agreements. So you always have to follow the rules and agreements, all right? Number two, do not cheat, okay? Always be, uh, uh, always play a sportsman spirit. Always play with a sportsman spirit, okay? Do not cheat. And number three is do not disturb others by making noises or shouting while you are playing sports with other friends. So try to be, uh, try not to shout, okay? Don't shout, don't make noise because if you are shouting or making noise, so maybe other friends who are playing with you, they will be disturbed, okay? Number four is, do not speak impolitely. So that means you always have to speak politely, all right? And show respect towards other people while you speaking with them. Number five, demonstrate good sportsmanship, behaving in an honorable and appropriate manner, okay? So you always have to demonstrate good sportsmanship, okay? Good sport, sports, uh, sportsmanship, that means that uh, the, the person who follow the rules of the sports and the agreements of the sports and don't make cheating, okay? So if you are not making cheating, if you are not making, uh, 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 if you are not uh, uh, going against the rules of the sports, so that mean, uh, and you are showing respect towards other players, so that mean a good sportsmanship. Okay, and you have to behave honorable and appropriate. So these are the some of the important manners for playing sports. I repeat one more time: obey sports rules and agreements. Do not cheat. Do not disturb others by making noises or shouting. Do not speak impolitely. Demonstrate good sportsmanship, behaving in an honorable and appropriate manner. And always what you have to do, you always have to follow the sports rules. Don't go against the rules of sports. So nowadays, uh, nowadays, uh, as you can, as you know, all of you, nowadays Thailand is being influenced by Western culture such as the way people dresses and expresses their love and fashion, valuing the appropriate Thai culture will help everyone live together in harmony. So as you know, nowadays the world, it's like all global village, most of the culture, they are all mixed up. So uh, in terms of like uh, expressions of love and uh, the lifestyle, the fashion, value, all these things, they are all mixed up. So what you have to do, you always have to follow appropriate Thai culture. You have to stuck with the Thai culture. So what will happen? It will help everyone to live, <clears throat> to live together in harmony. All right. So, <clears throat> Our next topic is page number 61. That one is rejection of dangerous and inappropriate sexual behavior. So uh, here we are supposed, uh, we are going to learn about how you have to come out of the danger, right? And rejection of dangerous and inappropriate sexual behavior. So first of all, risky sexual situation you have to understand how the situation it can be uh, sexual uh, sexually risky okay so nowadays nowadays there are so many risky situation that may lead to inappropriate or harmful sexual behavior the people with high risk are usually children who tend to trust people easily and teenager and teenagers who are to learn new things and, and are inexperienced. Kids and teenagers have a higher risk of dangerous sexual encounters or inappropriate sexual behavior. So nowadays, 
all around in the society there are many sexual situation uh, many risky situation okay so which can which may be lead towards inappropriate or it can be harmful sexual behavior and mostly the people who are at the risk at the risk of uh, harmful sexual behavior those are usually children why because children they easily trust people okay they are very easy to trust every people and other than that teenagers so teenagers are also at risk because mostly teenager according to their age they would like to learn and they would like to know many new things okay so and they don't have any experience of uh, they don't have any experience so they can be mostly at risk okay so teen kids and teenager have a high have a higher risk of dangerous sexual encounter or improper inappropriate sexual behavior so here we having some of the these are the how to reject okay so here there are the situation that could potentially cause sexual harm so here are some of the situation four of them uh if you find such kind of find yourself in such kind of situation so that mean it can lead towards sexual harm so like number one is strangers who act nice and talk to you if you don't know somebody if any stranger they come close to you and they would pretend they would pretend to be like a nice and uh, they would like to talk to you so it can cause sexual harm all right number 2 is being uh, being pressured into activities by an older acquaintances like any people you know them but not uh, really well and if they would like to put pressure they would like to pressurize you for do some kind of activities so that mean it can potentially cause sexual harm all right number 3 others or older acquaintances who hug or touch you in appropriate if any people uh, any acquaintances like the people you know them but not really well if they try to hug you or they if they try to touch you so that inappropriately not in appropriate way so that mean it can leads to potentially sexual harm number 4 is imitation of sexual senses of move from movies like if you find uh, if you watching movies right and they having like a sexual scenes so it can also potential uh, they also having potential to cause sexual harm so what you have to do here as you can see in the picture right you always have to be careful when the stranger uh when when you, uh, you always have to be careful when the stranger pressurized you to go out if stranger would like to put pressure on you to go out so you always have to be careful apart from that holding hands may holding hands to an uh, holding hands may lead to an appropriate behavior so for example either a male and female if they would like to hold the hand so that's also not right because it can leads to an appropriate sexual behavior now in this situation how you have to protect yourself how you are going to protect yourself so these are some of the important tips okay Now, how to protect yourself from sexual assault right you should know how to protect yourself from sexual assault by by doing as follow so these are the following tips if you do so so you can protect yourself okay number 1 go straight home after school so always when your school is finished and you have to go to school by yourself so go straight to school don't go here and there okay number 2 do not walk in isolated area that mean if you are going uh, going back home from school so don't go on the those area where there is no people okay so do not walk in isolated area and apart from that as you can see in the picture right 
go home with friends after school don't go alone if you're having friends right so always go home with your friends so you can protect yourself all right number three if you see a stranger acting weird or walking towards you what you have to do quickly walk away immediately so if you find in a situation yourself that any stranger any stranger try to act uh, weirdly like try to act not normal right and if you find like any stranger walking towards you right so what you have to do you have to quickly walk away okay you have to quickly walk away immediately number four avoid going home late when when you are outside right so or either if you're going back uh, home from school so don't be late okay avoid going home late number five do not receive stuff from stranger or hang out with them if you don't know any people so don't hang out don't go here and there with the stranger okay and also don't receive anything okay from the strangers number six is write down 191 an emergency uh, phone number and the nearest police office and keep it handy wherever you go so you always have to keep emergency call center number right so 191 it's emergency number you always have to remember this number okay and apart from that you always have to have a number of nearest police office okay always have to remember so if you find yourself in danger always contact this number and put nearby the police station police office as well number seven shout or scream as loud as possible when being sexually assaulted so if you find yourself sexually assaulted right so you have what you have to do you have to shout and scream make noise and make screaming all very loudly okay so uh people maybe nearby it can help you with that number eight is when you have sexual problems ask always ask your parents or teacher for advice so if you find yourself in any sort of sexual problem what you have to do you always have to uh, uh, you always have to uh, talk with your parents or either with teachers so they can give you a better advice okay students you understand that these are the most important tips what you have to follow it can help you to protect you from any sort of uh, danger situation so here are how you have to reject and avoid situation leading to inappropriate uh, sexual behavior so whenever you encounter a situation uh, whenever you encounter a situation it may uh, lead you to inappropriate sexual behavior you need to know how to reject and protect yourself from them these are the ways to avoid situation so first of all what you have to do you have to reject politely okay number two tell the person that uh, the tell the person the reasons why you would not like to do wrong things like you always have to tell the person that I'm not supposed to do any wrong things and reject also politely. Number three, do not trust the person who invites you. If any person invites you, right, so don't trust them, okay? Always be careful. Number four is tell the person that you need, uh, tell the person that you need your parents' permission. So if any person try to force you for something, right? So you always have to tell them that I need permission from my parents. So these are the four important tips, right? How to reject and avoid situation learning to an appropriate sexual behavior. And now <clears throat> how to cope with sexual behavior problem. 
So how to cop? Cop means how to survive, how you can survive with the sexual behavior problems. Uh, it is very important for teenager to understand and learn how to cop with sexual behavior. So for teenager, it's very important that they should know how they can protect themselves and how to survive from sexual behaviors, right? So teenagers should have a good understanding on how to re react appropriately towards sexual problems. If you experience any kind of sexual behavior problems, these are the things you should do. So if you find, if teenager, they find themselves in any sort of sexual uh, behavior problem. So these are the, some of the important tips they should to do. First of all, what they have to do, they have to confide, confide your parents. Confide mean disclose. You always have to let your parents know, okay? Disclose to you, your parents and ask them for the solution to the problem. If teenagers, they find uh, themselves in any sort of uh, sexual uh, assault, right? Or sexual assault behavior problem. So they always have to confide. They always have to disclose towards your parents and ask them for the solution so they can help you. So when you encounter a sexual problem, ask your parents for some advice. Always take advice from your parents. Number two is, if it is a serious problem, for example, sexual harassment and rape, you must report to the police immediately. So if there is a very serious problem, for example, rape or sexual harassment, so straight away, immediately have to report in the police station, right? So ask your parents to help you report to the police. So these are the uh, most important uh, tips how to cope with sexual behavior problems. Okay, students, you understand that? Yes. Okay. So now this is all for today. Okay, students. So next week you have to prepare for the unit test. Okay. So we are already finished with the, the whole unit, unit number four, and they're having the activity, activity, activity one and activity two. You already did that, students, the activity I gave you last week? Yeah. Okay. All right. So next week, uh, we are going to have the final test, okay? Unit test for the whole unit. Prepare yourself. I'm going to ask questions from you, and you have to answer. Okay, students? All right. So this is all for today. See you again. Bye. -bye. See you again next week. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Bye-bye.